Okay, welcome to part two of geometry. So I'm just going to carry on from where we left off. Um, last time we created a box um, mesh or box geometry uh, with all the properties and uh, with the GUI uh, to help us control uh, all the different properties. So this time we're going to create one. Well, we have four more to create, so I will continue with an icosahedron. So I will just continue as such. Okay, so what I will do is just basically copy this and just um, change the name. So instead of box geo, I will, I will say um, Icosa Hedron. Well, here I have to capitalize it. So here it's Icosa Hedron. I also change that also. Okay, so afterwards then we have to add that to the scene. Okay, once that's added to the scene, um, then we're going to also create a icosahedron data object. So this is where we're going to keep all the data that's going to be used uh, to create another GUI. So we'll just copy that again, go underneath here and then paste it there. And then we will create another, we'll say const, I'll say icosahedron folder equals to GUI.add folder. And then we will call our folder I cosa drawn. Okay, and then once we've got that, then we can start adding the different properties. So the basic ones that we will always need um, are these. So the position and the rotation. So I'll just copy that. And just for consistency, I capitalize this one, but I'll just make it lowercase. So instead of box, once again, I have to change it to I cosa drawn. And over here also, I cosa drawn so a cosadron does not have any width segments so I will remove all of that um, also that I do not need so mainly I will keep the rotation and the cosahedron has a radius so the radius I'll just make it one for now and it has detail so detail let's make it two for now okay by default the detail is zero um, so maybe I change my mind I'm just gonna make it zero so let's go back um, to where we created that icosahedron geometry. So it will be, so we're basically just going to leave it like that. So we'll just use the default settings and then we'll change the color to, we'll make this one red color of the material for our icosahedron. Okay, so just like we did with the previous geometry, we're going to create another function which is going to create a new geometry for our icosahedron so every time we make changes to the properties then it will create a new geometry and it will assign it to our mesh we will take this just copy it and just modify it okay so this is new say icosa i'll say new icosa geo then inside say new icosa geo equals to icosahedron geometry and then the properties will be radius and detail so say cut that let's cut that and then paste it under here because we're going to use this information from the object so we need to do this underneath otherwise it will not recognize where this is coming from okay um, change that and then we'll make that into icosa hedron mesh icosa geo Okay, so this is what we're going to be using. Um, so I'll just come down here, or maybe I can just copy this just to save time. You know how I like copying. So uh, instead of rotation Z, we'll say radius. And the minimum max, so let's make it five. Okay, the radius is between one and five. So we'll say that um, instead of calling that, then we'll call the new icosa geo. So basically, yes, that's what's going to happen. So every time you make changes to that, then it will create a new geometry with the values that we get from our GUI. Okay, so we'll do the same for our detail. So we'll say instead of radius, we'll say detail. We can make it between zero and five. Okay, so now let's um, check on our browser to see if everything is working properly. Okay, here's our icosahedron. Then we will just turn the other one off, the box off. So let's see detail. 
Hmm, nothing is working. What's the deal? Oh, okay. Um, I forgot to add the details. I'm sorry. Now that's my fault. I'll say um, I cross a hedron uh, data dot radius. I say I cross a hedron dot dot detail. Okay, so those are values. Okay, what's the deal now? Okay, I think what I should also do is just make this in not visible um, by default. So because then we don't have to always have to switch it on and off. So I'll go to each one's material and I'll say visible is equal to false. So I'll just do this for both materials and the materials to come. So we don't have to worry about that all the time. Okay, let me check um, how that works. Okay, as you see, um, this one means just the steps that I wanted to take. So, um, because usually um, when you assign these kinds of values, I think by default it uses float values. But if you're using integers, then it's good to specify so that it just increments uh, by uh, one. So this basically says that this should increment by one. So when I change my values, then it will go from zero to one, two, and it will increment uh, accordingly between zero and five. So let's check our radius. Yes, our radius is working just fine. We can see. Okay, so everything is okay. Our rotation works. The Z position, Y position. So yeah, everything is working accordingly. So yeah, there we go. So we've got our icosahedron. That was quick. So we have our three more to go and then we're done. So as you can see, um, icosahedron only has two values. The geometry only has two values. And that's the radius and detail. So the next one on the line is torus. So the next one will be torus. So um, a torus um, takes four values. Um, that is the radius, tube, tubular segments, and radial segments. Once again, um, we'll repeat the same process. Copy that. I will change the color to uh, this one. We'll just make it blue. And so um, we'll call this Taurus here. So that will be all Taurus. And then I have to capitalize this one. Okay, and then afterwards, then I add it to the scene. There's a little problem there. Okay, there we go. Okay, after adding it to the scene, then I will also create another object for it. Um, and I will also create another function, which will create a new geometry every time we change the values. So once again, um, copy and paste. So underneath here, I will say copy and then name them torus. And then in here, I will say radius, radius, and then tube. Then I'll say radial segments and then tubular segments. Now the default um, radius is one and tube is 0 0.4. Radial segments is eight and uh, tubular segments is six. That's the default. So I will just um, keep it that way. Um, radius, sorry, radius. And let's change that over there. And then um, tube is 0 0.4. Radial segment is eight and um, tubular segments is six by default so we'll just keep it that way to avoid confusion and so here we'll add rotation um x once again um say rotation y okay wait so um, what am i doing rotation um that's zero that's zero and um Rotation Z, um, that is zero. Should have just kept that. I think I overwrote them, but anyway, I wasn't really paying attention to that. Never mind. So um, we'll take another. Um, yes, take this function also. Um, then we will duplicate it, and we will say new 
Taurus. Okay, never mind. Um, let's go back. That's a one, two, whatever it's I Cosa, then maybe let's just yeah, let me do these two say Taurus separately. And then uh, I cross a hedron. Yeah, I'll say Taurus. And then come back to this one. Say so, yeah, once again Taurus. Okay, so our new Taurus Geo. Um, yes, capitalize new Taurus Geo. Gotta keep the camel case consistent. Okay, so everything looks fine. Um, then the next step is to basically replicate all of this. So the next process will just be copying and pasting and just repeating the same process. But what you will learn is that the different geometries have different properties. So this is just to show you the different geometries that you can find, but the process is the same. So what you learn from the first tutorial, that's pretty much it. You will repeat that same process. So right now it's just repetition so that you can go through the different geometries and you can see what uh, 3JS has to offer in terms of the variety of geometries. So we'll just copy that. Um, just put it underneath here. So I cosahedron will be Taurus, Taurus, and then um, also I cosahedron folder will be Taurus, and then over here I cosa will be Taurus. Okay. So we've got that. So um, rotation position that is fine. Visibility. So what we need to change here is the radius. Okay. So now we just need to make a few adjustments and add um, more properties to this. Wait. So I'll just copy these two um, once again and then paste them over there. So we've got a radius. Um, then we've got tube radial segments 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 and then we've got tubular segments tubular segments okay so we'll make this okay 0 0.4 um between and five or maybe let's just make it seven and uh what we need to also do here is add more values so it's so it's um, Taurus data dot um, radio segments, okay, and then Taurus data dot tubular segments. So those are the values that we're working with. I think that should be fine. Okay, I'm just going to remove the steps. We don't need any steps here. So the tube is 0 0.4, or uh, the, the default value, right? Here we go, rotation, everything is working fine, cool. Okay, so let's see how the tube works. The tube is not working, what, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, I will um, sort that out, so I'll go back, tube. What is your problem, tube? 0 0.4, oh, Taurus. Yes, okay, that's the problem here. Okay, it says Taurus data detail. It should be tube. That's why. Let's update. Okay, let's check it again. So our thing is visible. Yeah, tube is still not working. Jeez, man. Okay. Um, let me test this out. Yeah, so there we go. Um, no steps. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so everything is working um, accordingly. What we can do is just increase some um, 
the radial segment and also here um, can also increase the tubular segments. Uh, what I can do is also maybe uh, give this a bit more uh, space to play with. So I'll say between 0 and 9. Okay. So when we come back to it, then still same shape, but uh, we've got a little bit more to play with. Okay, so we can go all the way to 0 0.1 and all the way to, yeah, to craziness. Okay, radio segments, all of that, everything works. Okay, so that's our third of geometry, so we have two more to go. I guess by now you are familiar with this process, so copying and pasting is what we do best. So what I will do now is just pretty much copy all of this. Um, besides, uh, let's stop right there. Okay, let's do it again. Taurus theta up to there. Copy. Let's make sure we don't mess with our render function. We don't want to mess that up. Okay, so our next geometry will be sphere. Now the sphere takes seven values. The radius, and you've got the width segment, height segment. So you've got the phi start, phi length, uh, theta start, and theta length. So um, with all of that, so we have radius. So we say, um, and just get rid of that. Okay, first of all, let me just um, change the name here. So say so sphere data. Okay, we say new sphere. Because we're making a lot of changes, it's easy to make mistakes here. So I have to be careful. Um, so here, here we say sphere geometry. And so this will be sphere data. But let's just, I'll say for now, get rid of that. So torus mesh, this will also be sphere. So we have to kind of go through everything one by one just to avoid um, mistakes because I've experienced that in the past. So that could be also a mission to have to go back and look at every single thing, just try to spot out the mistake or where the fault might be. So torus, no, torus will be sphere. Okay, sphere. And then we'll say another. Taurus sphere once again. Uh, so this new Taurus geo will obviously be new sphere geo. And so then we can finish the rest. All the Taurus, let's change that to sphere. Fine, uh, we'll come back to the values. So we have spheres, our position and rotation is always fine. We just have need to change the specific also. Before we get confused here, we need to also sort that out. So sphere. Okay, let me change this first. Okay. Okay, then we add it to the scene. Okay, so here we are. So then um what? Okay, for our data we have radius, and then we have um, width segments, and we have height segments. Okay, and the next one is phi start. So we say phi start. And then we have file length. File length, um, we have theta start and then theta length. Okay, so by default, phi start is zero and uh, file length is math dot pi times two. Theta start is zero and this is math dot pi. So these are the default values. So since we're going to be using these values, so we have to add them here. So we'll say sphere, sphere data dot radius, say sphere data dot width segments, sphere data dot height segments, sphere data dot phi start, sphere data dot phi length, then um, sphere data dot theta start sphere data dot theta length mm. mouthful and now that we're done with that so we can uh, start adjusting these values so say with okay remove that i'll say since we have segments here i'll just say with Segment so height. Okay, so 
here are our values so let's check if everything is working properly Okay, I just had to fix that. Okay, so everything is working fine as you can see. Um, everything works as it should. Okay, we've got our sphere. So I'll just go through it once again. That's our radius. That's our width segment, height segments, phi start. And that is our phi length. And that is our phi start. And that is our phi length. Okay, so everything is working as it should. And also that is fine as well. Okay, so we have one more to go. And uh, that is our cylinder. So we're going to do the same thing over again. So our cylinder geometry has um, eight um, values or eight properties that it takes, or eight arguments, however you want to put it. So we're going to do that now and uh, repeat the same process as we did for the others. We need to also go up here, copy that first. Okay, um, yes, also I just want to change the color here, I'll make that, so this one will just change the color over here, okay, so there's some, a bit of variation, so instead of sphere, it's going to be cylinder, okay, cylinder, so here, I just need to change this and capitalize that, and then we add our cylinder to the scene okay so now we go back um, and so over here this is where we start to make our changes so instead of sphere data it's gonna be cylinder cylinder data and we will change the details as we go um, so for now let's just empty that So here, instead of sphere, it will be cylinder, new cylinder geo over here once again, change that to cylinder. Okay, I've been making, I've been doing this without um, really explaining, but if you want to make changes in many places, um, so you just highlight the word that you want to change and then you press ctrl d and so it will basically select everything that um that word anywhere in the script and then you can make changes to all of them at the same time okay so that's what i'm doing now so it makes this whole process a lot easier if you didn't know what i'm doing then you would have to do it for each and every one which is a bit tedious but anyway typing it out is still the same thing so you say ctrl d and so now you can select all well, strings or words that say sphere okay i'll stop there and i'll say cylinder folder and then here i'll say new, new cylinder then i'll carry on again okay so um but first, okay, the values, I have to change the values here, I'll leave that, I've, I've previously been overriding this or like writing over it and then still having to copy it again, but yeah, I will avoid that now, so I will just kind of take it like this, let me just really just do that rather, so um, in order to not be confused, so the first one is... Um, 
radius top. Okay, now the default is one. Say so, so radius top. That is basically the radius of the top part of the cylinder. Okay, let's so say radius um, bottom. That is also one. And then the height. That is the height of our cylinder. That is also one by default. So we've got the radial segments. And that is um, 8 by default. Okay, so the default value is 8. Uh, let's say height segments. Default is 1. And then open ended. Um, that uh, just means whether or not the cylinder should be closed. So we have the option of having like an open ended cylinder where both sides are open like a tube. Or a pipe. So open ended at by default is equals to false. And then you've got theta start, which is zero by default, and then you've got theta length, which is math pi. Let's fix that. Dot pi times two. So those are our values, so let's add them accordingly. So cylinder data dot radius radius top cylinder data dot radius bottom cylinder data dot height and cylinder data dot radial segments cylinder dot height segment um dot open ended and cylinder data dot um theta dot theta start and then cylinder data dot Theta length. Okay, so these are our values. So next, um, I have to adjust, check, uh, change the values over here. So cylinder data. Okay, let me see wherever the segment. I'll just say radio. Okay, maybe let me just do this in sequence just to avoid mistakes. Say um, so radius top and then radius bottom and then we'll say um, radio. Okay, height first. Okay, that's at height, do that, Let's say height, okay, so this is radial segment and then height segment, that's fine, and then we've got um, open-ended, open-ended, which is false by default to zero, so, so it'll be between zero and one, uh, one just means true, okay, so then we've got theta start and theta length, okay, so that's two, four, six, eight, okay, eight values, didn't miss any Thing. Okay, so that's it. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's Okay, that's not working Okay, so that was the problem over here. I needed to fix that Okay, so that's radius bottom radius top. Let's Hide and let's move the rotation a bit okay, So that we can see it nicely so yeah, that's what we have to work with over there, radius. Okay, well, that's the top, but uh, because I changed the rotation, so, you know, that would be that part over there, but yeah, either way, it works. So um, let's change yeah, the height, uh, let's put wireframe and let's see the radial segments. You see, you can increase the radial segments. Height segments uh, open ended. We can see that when the wireframe is not there, so we can see there's a hole in there. If we see, so that's what that does. Um, let's move that back and let's say theta start. That's just that, and then theta length, and then you can just basically uh, manipulate that. So and you can see, close it, open it. So yes, um, this is pretty much it. And so yeah, so these are the few primitive geometries that you can find and play around with. So um, and that will be all basically. So I hope that was fun. I hope that you learned something and that uh, after this, then you will just have fun trying out all the different geometries and playing around. But um, as for this lesson, that was it. So see you in the next one. Yo, love and peace. I'm out.